We are off on our first road trip in the Airstream. I'll tell you all about where we're going and why on the way. So come along with us. We're gonna get in the truck and take a road trip. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Nearing our destination, we are about two hours away of a roughly six hour drive. Malachi is doing great over here. So it is completely gutted still. We have done absolutely zero work on it in the past two years, but that is about to change in a big way. We are taking it down to Ohio, or I should say over to Ohio because Ohio is not south of us. We're taking it over to Ohio to a company that has specialty in restoring and remodeling airstreams so we're taking it to them because they have expertise in this and they have time to dedicate to this and we do not have either of those things so we're excited to get get it started basically essentially what we're doing with the airstream and what they're going to be doing for us is taking the bones of the airstream and fixing it all up they're going to be waterproofing everything, sealing everything, um, replacing, uh, repairing the skins. It's going to be as if you're walking into a house that has been drywalled without any furnishing, without any cabinets, without any bathroom, but the bones and the structure is going to be all there. So when we get it back, it's going to be ready for building the interior out. So we're gonna be doing that work ourselves, we hope, and we're really going to focus on getting that work done. Oh, it's really bumpy. As quickly as possible, because we would love for any of you guys to be able to book a stay at the farm and stay in our Airstream. So we're really looking forward to all of this. I'm, we're gonna take you down to, oh, over to Ohio with us so you can see what it looks like now. I'll show you guys the status of the Airstream and and then we'll be leaving it behind for quite a few months while they while they get to work on it. Maybe what, six months? I have no clue how long it's gonna take, honestly. It could be six. Could be I mean, it's probably not as much a barrier with the work they're gonna do. It's more how we can pay for it. So we're paying for all of the restoration in cash and the renovations in cash. Um, well, not like physically cash like not actual you know cash but we're not taking out any debt to do it and because of that there's gonna be some some issues with making sure we get everything we need to get done but also can afford to do it so we might leave it with them for a little bit longer and have them do more work we'll keep you posted nothing to see here on the drive it's pretty boring out here in Ohio where we are right now um, but we are staying in Cleveland tonight. We're staying in downtown Cleveland. We're gonna have 
find some yummy vegan food somewhere, enjoy um, going out for drinks tonight, and Malachi will be tag teaming the whole time. So let me, let me show you guys how he's doing. He's been a champ so far, um, and I've been you know, working hard to keep him entertained as best as possible in the back of this truck. How are you doing, boo-boo? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're so sweet. There's the Airstream back there doing well on this road so far. No problems. No problems yet. And I will say at every stop so far between this cutie Malachi and the Airstream in the back, we get stopped by lots of people. I had two or three people at a gas station commenting on Malachi and how cute he was and we've already had two people kind of talking to us about how cool the Airstream is and, and asking us about that project. So we've got a lot of fun stuff to look at between the cute baby in, in the truck and the Airstream behind the truck. You are pretty darn cute, mister. Mm. Mm. How are you handling your first drive towing the Airstream? Well, it's been going really well, actually. Everything's been smooth. I mean, it's gone as well as I could have asked for. Good. Uh, the truck's pulling it well. No issues with the truck. Uh, the trailer is uh, really stable back there and pretty smooth. So it's been really good, really good. Another thing I'll add for those who may not know is until, like, what, two months ago, we didn't even have a vehicle to tow this thing. So. It was stuck in our yard essentially unless we were going to borrow uh, a family member's truck and a big change for us was being able to purchase this Toyota Tundra a few months ago and that's been just a game changer in terms of being able to get farm projects done and being able to get this Airstream done. So now that we have a truck to tow this Airstream it just feels like the options are a lot more open in terms of what we could do with it. And I really hope some road trips and camping trips are in our future um, in the not too far away future because I would love to take this take this Airstream on its first actual road trip with us using it as opposed to it just being uh, an ornament on the back of this truck. <laughs> If you haven't watched our videos before, the Airstream that we have is a 1969 Sovereign Airstream. It is a 31 foot trailer, so it's quite long, about 200 square feet-ish of living space on the inside, which is a lot of space to work with, and it's fully gutted, so there's nothing exciting in it, no floors, uh, the walls aren't even, like the interior walls aren't even done. So it is being, it's essentially just a shell on top of a decently restored frame. So a lot to do, that's for sure. We made it to our destination. We are in Ohio at Pioneer Vintage Trailer. And of course it starts pouring right when we get here. But guys, there are at least 30 Airstreams of all different ages here. Super cool. At least. I mean, I'm t counting 10 just like right here, but they're all over the place. So uh, pretty cool. I would love to walk around and see them, but it is raining, like really raining. So we're kind of stuck in the car for now. So I'm gonna see what Chris says is next. I'll do it. We made it, boo-boo. We made it. We made it! You made it! Well guys, you know what they say about the best laid plans? Well, I looked at the weather app and it's supposed to rain like all night here and I had asked Chris yesterday if it was gonna rain and he said no, it's supposed to be clear this weekend but he had checked New York weather, not Ohio weather so we don't even have an umbrella and it is pouring. And so there's there's no way we're gonna be looking at the Airstreams today or checking out what they have going on here because it is just pouring. We've got Malachi. We don't have the right attire or umbrellas. No, we don't. So Chris is unhooking the hitch right now so that we can leave the trailer here. I don't know what the next step is after that. Not even sure where we're going from there, but I'll keep you guys posted. We got 
got time on our side We're in a state of hope How are we gonna get shown around? What do you mean? It's pouring. Inside the shop. They have, oh. they have like trailers in the shop right now. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I was like, what? I don't wanna walk around I mean, here. maybe once it dies down, we can come out and see some of this stuff too. Yeah. yeah. Looks like about half the floor, so it's like that, you know? Okay. Makes it over five. It is now Saturday morning. We just went and got breakfast. We got smoothie bowls and coffee. Waving to her. And we are headed out. We're headed on the road. This time, sands the trailer. So, should be an easier drive. You ready for it? Okay, well I will See you guys soon. Thanks for joining along as we took the Airstream on its first road trip and I'm really excited to show you what it looks like on the other side once it's renovated. Bye friends.